guys are back with another video today and if you like well if you don't like because I don't even like this how it turned out then keep watching hey guys I'm back with another video today and today I'm doing a video of all my new makeup so let's get into it okay so first I'm taking concealer it is makeup revolutions conceal and define full coverage concealer in C10 when I was looking at the pictures of swatches I was like none of them are in my colour but I went to the store swatch one and it didn't seem too bad oh literally a massive spot there what's that I like really like applicators with the massive one because then I don't have to dip it 10 million times shall I stick them here why not stick the excess here. Don't even need that foundation now. Okay, so next I've got a sample of L'Oreal's Infallible Foundation in Sable Sand. I kind of winged this, so I don't actually know if this is going to be the right colour for me. Is anything coming out? Okay then. Yes, yeah, something is coming out. This is very watery. I've got something in my eye. Oh my god, it's dripping down my face. Wow, not a bad match. It is lighter than me, but it goes well, so you know. This smells amazing, but Loki smells a bit like fake tan, but I strangely like that smell, you know, weird kind of way. It's definitely a dewy foundation, so it'll be good for summer if you're into that. I'm actually impressed, I'm surprised, I didn't think it would look this good. I'm taking Rimmel's Clear Perfection Transparent, the blue one. The famous one, everyone knows what that one is. Powder and just set the face. Okay, next I'm gonna go in with my palette and I bought have recently bought three makeup geek bronzers. Scandal, Half Hearted and Deal Breaker. So which one should I choose? Which one will be for me? Let's try Deal Breaker and see how that is because I tried Scandal before and not for me. That moment she knows she fucked up. I barely even dipped that in. Oh my god. Oh my god. Pray to the Lord this blends out. Otherwise, I'm I'm effed. I'm supposed to be going now. Oh my god! Okay, I have Half Hearted from Makeup Geek. Let me put this on top because it's a bit more warmer, so it might. Lighten the situation up. Let's move on to highlighter, and I can just. I just can't even right now. This is the W7 Glow Motion Shimmer Highlighter. I bought it on Amazon because everyone said it was really good. It's a dupe for something that I don't even have. Another thing is, this is literally a nightmare to open when you've got nails on. So give me like 20 seconds. Is this video just one big mess up today? Literally nothing is going right. That will have to do. Next, I'm taking Tarte's Gifted Mascara. I can't put mascara on because I ain't even done my eyes. For eyeshadow now, I'm going to do like a ready, pinky, orangey look. No idea what I'm going to be doing. 
but this is Makeup Revolution's Reloaded Neutrals 2 palette. Start with a brown for the crease and then go over it with pink and I don't have a mirror. Well, I didn't even dip it in that much and that brown is pigmented. Okay, now I recently bought Makeup Geeks eyeshadows for the first time. I now own four. I'm not really interested in any of the other ones. I don't really see the hype. But I've got Whimsical Backlight, Caitlyn Rose and Masquerade. So I was going to use that. Shall I use that as a cut crease? But then I've got these in here for cut crease. So now I'm picky, but the shimmers are pink and that's it's quite orangey. It might look a bit weird. So maybe I should use Caitlyn Rose. It's a nice purple. So let me just cut my crease and do that. Okay, now that's done, this video is just one big mess. I've got two new eyeliners. I've got NYX, I bought five, about five. I've got the yellow, the purple, the, I think the orange, blue, like the colourful ones, and also got a white one. But I also got a pink eyeliner from Stargazer. So I'm going to see if I can use these both and see how this comes out. Okay, just so you guys know, I'm going to apply the white eyeliner, doing a normal white eyeliner, and then I'll come back to you because I've got no, uh, to, like, I can't really see what I'm doing and I don't want to mess this up because I am going out. So, I'll be back in one sec. Okay, eyeliner done, looking a bit crazy. Got white eyeliner, I tried to use the pink, it does not work, it is so crap. It's like it's running out, but there was plastic on it, so I know it's brand new. So, let's just move on to mascara. I mean, everything else is going wrong, so why would that go right? Ugh. I look like a crazy person. I need to learn how to do white eyeliner. And it's gone crackly. I heard NYX was supposed to be really good. So that's a disappointment. I was originally actually going to use Tarte's gifted eyeliner that goes with this mascara, but that's just utter crap, so... And it kind of makes your eyes burn. This is going ain't doing anything. This mascara's crap. So let's leave the last thing is the lips. I feel like just removing all this makeup and starting again because I'm supposed to be going out and it's just. <sighs> Great. Okay, here it is. Last but not least, it's not actually a lipstick. It's an eyeshadow base, I think. And it's called Eye Tint. It says on there. It's from N Y X again. But I love this color, and I can't seem to find. It's so hard to find a nice purple gray color. There's not too, like a lot of them are more on the gray side. Not many are on the purple side. And since Colourpop decided they wanted to discontinue my favourite one and they did it, I didn't have money at the time to buy like backups of backups so now I'm going to hunt for like a really nice grey permanent purple lipstick I can't open these damn packaging before having that line on the plastic it's supposed to make it easier it makes it ten times freaking harder come on I'll probably remove this because everything else is going crap, so let's see. Wow. To be honest with you, I didn't really put it on properly. I would have do another layer, but this look is really looking crap, so I might add to it. It's matte. Oh my god, it feels like your lips. Doesn't even feel like you've got lipstick on. And it's kiss proof. 
Oh god. Oh wow. Okay, so this is the finished look and I practically hate everything. Yeah. The foundation has made my... It's like two times darker now. I think it kind of oxidised to my skin. Bronzer, definitely not for me. Not my shade colour. Won't be using that again. Oh, at least I can put in my kit. Eyeshadow, I loved. Makeup Revolution to eyeshadow and concealer. Fab, amazing. Highlight is good. Not my colour. Because I don't like golden -y ones. The lips are good, I just have to... I kind of like this colour, yeah. I'm going to have to swatch it to see if it matches my other one. But yeah, that is it for this video. I'm going to have to sort these eyes and put black eyeliner over because I'm going out and... <gasps> Dear God help me. So yeah, I hope you guys like this. Let me know what you want next. And until then, I'll see you guys next time. A close-up of... It's just the eyes. Like, what is that? I really messed up my eyeshadow because they look a bomb, diggity bomb. The eyeliner needs to go. Can you see? I tried to do like the pink eyeliner and it just flopped.